He's 51 years young and is as sharp as an axe. There's around about 770 now. They're all on a card system and all catalogued, but it's, it's taken about 15, 16 years to get them all together. These days, this electrician by trade has swapped his sparky passions for axes. So out of the 770 axes that you have stored in this shed here, do you have a favourite at all? Several favourites. No, no one particular favourite, but several favourites. Some that I'd like to actually be buried with, but nobody will volunteer to be a pallbearer. <laughs> in the collection, there's broad to felling axes, shipwrights and coachmakers one, to even hatchets. Some bought locally, others from overseas. Um, it's a mahogany squaring axe made in the Kangaroo Works in Sheffield, England. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful axe. That's one of three that I got at an auction. They're all Canadian made. I was a bit frightened at first when I thought, here's a man with a big bushy beard with a shed full of axes. Um, but then we found out how interesting he was and that he's not such a scary man and it is a very unique collection. So unique, Steve and his ensemble of axes were featured in the Queensland Times' new column, QT Collectors. Our column is all about local people because that's the focus of the QT and people love to read about people like themselves and I think there's a little bit of a collector in everybody. It's a weekly feature showcasing collectors and their pride and the list of subjects have certainly not disappointed. We've had from Steve's axes to bottles to beanie bears. Um, we're looking at a guy who's got 500 fishing rods, so there's a lot of variety out there. In fact, Natalie, 500's just the tip of the iceberg. I have about 1,300 reels in the room, a uh, couple of hundred rods, a few floats, spear guns, hooks, sinkers. Yes, Ipswich resident Warwick Doncaster is another keen collector. A 27-year-old passion starting with a simple flea market pickup. All my collection is Australian made and I just think it's part of history that's got being thrown away. But of course a fishing collection wouldn't be complete without the tale of the biggest catch around. Now, the marlin was caught in Hawaii. It's an actual mould off the real fish. Uh, that's the actual size of it. But the list of potential collector features doesn't stop there. Over the years, even on Extra, we've interviewed our fair share, from sewing machine misers... I've got 175 in the other rooms in the house. ...to kitchenalia collectors. Oh, my goodness! Yeah. Even a ruler admirer. 1,493, oh. and I'm still collecting them. <laughs> Yes, when it comes to those who collect, as Axeman Steve suggests, it's quite catching. It's just a full-blown disease for me. There's no pulling it up, so... Yeah, yeah. it's not contagious yeah. now, is it? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Although Steve now turns to eBay to hunt and gather his beloved tools, this enthusiast believes his collecting days are far from blunt. It's the thrill, it's, it's the reason to get out of bed, you know, it's, um, it, it's something that only a, a collector would really appreciate. Yeah, it's just a magic feeling.